guys, it's the one and only boy Nikki. Welcome to another vlog. Thank you guys for joining me on another vlog again. Thank you all who recently liked and subscribed to my channel. I really, really appreciate you guys from the bottom of my heart. Thank you all so much. My channel is growing every day. I'm increasing every day. I appreciate all the love and support. Well guys, today I'm going to be cooking some bonjol duck with rice and um... I'm also gonna bake some red velvet cake and some yellow cake. So I already got my, I already washed my meat, cut it up and have it over there to go. My water is boiling and I got my ingredients out here all ready to go. So once again thank you all so much from the bottom of my heart. And all those who have birthday, anniversary, happy birthday, happy anniversary to you guys. God bless. You got all to see many, many more. Thank you all so much. So guys, here's all my ingredients that I have to cook my duck curry. So this is two tablespoons of curry powder, one, two tablespoons of aji, two tablespoons of, three tablespoons of masala, two tablespoons of grind jeera, two tablespoons of duck and curry, goat curry powder, three, four teaspoons of um, green seasoning, I got three bay leaves in there. I got two sticks of spice. I got two tomato cubes. So that's all my ingredients. And I have some, over here I have some mint leaf, some parsley, a piece of ginger, a whole onion, three shallot, and some celery sticks. So that's all my ingredients inside. So here that I have right now to cook my duck curry. I'm gonna say one more time for you guys. 3 teaspoons of aji, 3 tablespoons of curry powder, 3 tablespoons of grind, 2 tablespoons of grind jeera, 3 tablespoons of masala, 2 tablespoons of the, 3 tablespoons of the um, duck and curry powder, 3 tablespoons of grind seasoning, my bay leaf, tomato cubes, spice, so there you go guys, this is all my ingredients. Um, I'm gonna put my duck to steam now. My car heat is getting hot and my rice water is getting boiled. So I'm gonna start to do that right now. So guys, I can see my, my, I put my rice in to cook already. My rice is boiling. And here I wash my duck, clean it out. I'm gonna, and I put it to steam now. I like to steam my meat, any meat that I cook. I like to steam it a little bit first and then cook it. So there you go guys. So guys I'm putting up my celery, my onion, my parsley and my shallot. Guys my meat in here is steaming. I throw like a one teaspoon of salt because you don't want to throw a lot of salt. Because your seasoning and everything else is going to have salt inside so you don't want to throw a lot of salt inside. So I'm kind of a shout now guys. And after I start my duck curry, I'm gonna go start the cake, the yellow cake and the red velvet cake. Guys, the red velvet cake was is requested by Divya from Schenectady. She live on Crane Street. She requested the red velvet cake. So 
guys this is my parsley and mint leaves So guys, look at my duck steaming nice. Look at it loose, loose its own water. Look at all the water. See that? So I like to steam it. I let the water dry down a little bit. Then I'll take it out and then cook the curry. Ah, bonje duck, I mean, sorry. So guys, here's all my ingredients cut up and ready to go for my bonje duck. This is my shallot, mint leaf, my ginger. My celery, my onion, so it's right there, all is right here, the shallot, mint leaf, and the onion, okay, and the, the ginger, and celery. And in here, I got some bay leaf, two cubes, two spice, two thick of cinnamon spice. I got three teaspoons of grind jeera, three teaspoons of masala, two teaspoons of the duck and goat curry powder. 3 teaspoons of green seasoning, 3 teaspoons of the curry powder, 1 teaspoon of the aji, and that's um, miracle the miracle seasoning. Like 1 teaspoon, you don't want to throw a lot of that inside because that's kind of sweet. So there you go guys. So guys as you can see my duck, duck meat is about to dry down with the water. I give it a little bit more so that the water can dry down and then I'm gonna take it out and start to cook the bunji duck. My rice is boiling. And then I'm gonna start after this, I'm gonna start with the red velvet cake and the yellow cake. Okay guys. So guys my water is drying down water dried up in the meat. I'm taking it out now. It's nice and steam as you can see. So guys, back home, this is how we used to do it. I used to, we used to steam all our meat back home. It doesn't matter if it's duck, goat, sheep, chicken, anything. We all steam it first and then cook it. This looks good already, guys. Here you go, guys. All nice and steam already. So guys, my oil is hot, I'm training my onion out to fry up a little bit. So guys, I'll take my bay leaf and my two thick of cinnamon spice out to fry up a little bit. Yes guys, so we let it fry up so nice. The hair curry is delicious. Guys, masala, my three tablespoons masala and two two minutes cube. Three tablespoons of green seasoning. Mmm guys, smell aroma is so good. Mmm. Three tablespoons of duck and go to curry powder. Two tablespoons of grind jeera. Three tablespoons of curry powder. Mm. So guys, my masala is bungee up now. And let it bone until the oil comes in and come up on the top. Then you know it's ready for you to add your meat inside and your rest of your ingredients for the curry. So in the meanwhile, I'm going to cover this like a cook on medium heat. You don't want to put your heat high with the masala for it to burn. Guys, this is like uh, three, um, two tablespoons of 
chopped up ginger fine fresh ginger guys make your curry taste delicious so guys my masala is all bunged up ready to go it started to like thing on the fire here I want it to burn so here's my steam meat I'm gonna add it in now so guys I'm gonna put like um like three or three big potato inside because the kids like potato inside so I'm gonna add three potato it all depends if you love potato you can put how much you want but I'm just gonna put three inside three big ones so guys look how this look I'm gonna add my pepper in Right after I finish turning up this up, I'm gonna add the pepper in. You can put like three, four, three pepper, five, six, how much you want inside. So that is how my duck looks so far. Smells amazing guys, it looks delicious. Yep, yeah, that's how my duck look. So guys, here's my duck, uh, bunch of duck going. I'm gonna let it cook for a little bit because remember I steam it guys and it steam good it doesn't take that long to cook back when you steam it nice so I let it cook when the water dry down almost dry down I'm gonna add my potatoes in and then I'm gonna I'm gonna go get started now with the yellow cake and the red velvet cake okay so guys I'm beating up the egg for my um, yellow cake and the red velvet cake so guys, you put um, the red, red velvet cake is three egg, and the yellow red the yellow cake is three eggs. So I got separate eggs for both of them because they both call for separate um, different ingredients for the yellow one is different ingredients for the the red velvet cake. So here you go. The, the, the that's for the yellow one, and this is the red velvet cake I'm doing now. So guys, I'm doing it. Old style, old fashioned style. This is back home guy on you and you bake a cake. You bake it with your hand, you mix everything with your hand. No mixing, no mixer or mixing bowl. Everything is with your hand. You gotta whip it. Whip it good guys. Whip it. Guys, so I put um for the red velvet cake is half a cup of oil. You can use any oil, cooking oil, vegetable oil, olive oil, any kind of oil you can use. So this is half a cup of vegetable oil. And it says here you add a cup of water. You can use cold water if you want, you can use warm water, hot water, but me I'm using I'm using cold water. So this is a cup of water. And three eggs. And guys, you can use um, red food coloring. Use the red food curry and put how much, how red you want it to become. You can use um, any color uh, food coloring for the yellow one too. You can you, you can make yellow, you can make green, red, any color you want to make. But I'm doing red and yellow today. So guys, in here I have a, a, a pound of flour, three eggs, half a cup of oil, one cup of water. Whip it, whip it, whip it. Whip it, whip it, whip it. Whip it, whip it, whip it. Whip it. Oh, my duck curry coming along. Look how good it looks. As you can see, it looks so delicious and yummy. So guys, I'm putting my potato in now. Some of you guys can see potatoes. So you guys can see all of 
Bonze de Doc. Ya Bonze de Doc. Oh guys, this is look delicious. I'm going to put it inside now. I'm going to let it boil and dry down. There you go, guys. So, guys, my duck curry is almost finished. And I'm going to add my um, parsley, my celery, my mint leaf, my shallot, everything in now. So, I'm going to turn it up. Mm, guys, this smells so amazing, man. Look all the seasoning I just added in there. The parsley, the shallow, the mint leaf. The shallow, everything. Look at that. Let it boil now. I use one of these spoons of baking powder for my red velvet cake and one of this for the yellow cake also okay so as you can see I finished mixing my red velvet cake I whip it up guys you hold it and you go whip whip it whip it whip it whip it whip it whip it <laughs> okay guys I'm gonna start the yellow one now So guys, one cup of water. And for the yellow one, it costs a one third a cup of oil. So this is one third cup of oil. And three eggs. And you whip it, whip it, whip it again. Yeah, they got good arm strength and good arm muscle for doing this cake, guys. Because I'm doing it like how I do it back home. Whip it with the, either you can whip it with the, the spoon or you can do it with this. Back home, we used to do it with a spoon. What's the wine? What's the wine now? And guys, you can add a little bit of sugar to it if you want. If you want it sweeter. So guys, what I mean to say, I add a pound of flour, I add a pound of sugar, and you mix it up. So I, I didn't mean to say you can add a little bit of sugar. My bad for that, I should say a cup of sugar. I'm gonna put it in my pan now to bake in the oven. The oven is warm. I could put the, the oven is um, set at 350 degrees. So my oven is hot now, I'm gonna put it in my oven now. So guys, here is my red velvet cake and my yellow cake. I put it into a pan. So there you go. I'm gonna put it in my oven now. So guys, here is my duck curry. It's drying down now. It's gonna about to finish in the next couple of minutes. So it look good, guys. Right? I got some nice woody pepper in there, guys. And I put my cake in the oven to bake. So you can see guys, I put my cake in the oven to bake, the red velvet cake and the yellow cake. So guys, there you go, there's my yellow cake in the top. Nice swelling, nice and fluffy. And there's my red velvet cake raising nice and fluffy in the pan. So there you go guys. So guys, here's my bonje dog. Guys, my kids like a little bit of gravy, so they said they want a little bit of gravy inside. So I take it down, so look how amazing it looks inside. 
Oh, delicious and yummy. Guys, look at that duck curry. So guys, here's my yellow cake. It's all finished, but the red velvet one is not finished yet. It needs a little bit more time. So there you go, guys. Yellow cake. So guys, here is my yellow cake and my red velvet cake. I didn't cut it as yet. So there you go, guys. So guys, here is my red velvet cake, my yellow cake. I have some leftovers dolls, so I just warm it up. There's my bungee duck and then my rice. So this is my dinner for today, guys. See how good it looks, delicious and yummy. Hey guys, this is one and only boy Nikki. So guys, there you go. This is my dinner today. I'm tired after making this dinner, so you know. I have my rice, my bungee duck, my doll. My, actually, I can say my leftover doll. My yellow cake and my red velvet cake. And of course I have my diet soda, you guys know that. And so guys, this is how my plate look. I got my uh, bunch of duck. And I got my doll in the middle. Nice doll with nice poi badgy inside. And weary pepper and my spoon is here. So let's dig in guys. Dig in. And give a good review about it. Let's go. Be honest. Good. Eat the meat. How does the meat taste? Good. The food is great. Mm hmm. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you. So there you go, guys. So, like I said, the first one always goes to my subscriber and my viewers. Let's dig in, guys. Here we go. <laughs> Man, guys, I don't make this up. Tastes uh. so good and sweet. Mm -mm. Like and subscribe to Nikki family. Thank you. Love you. Let's go guys. So guys, I have a whole yellow cake here. So I cut that out of the pan, I cut it up, and this is how it looks. Coming closer. So you can see, look at the fluffiness. Yoo-hoo! And this is the red velvet cake. Look at the steam. Still coming out on it. Look at that. See, it's so hot, guys. You can still see the steam coming out. So I'm gonna take a little piece of it because I haven't finished my dinner as yet. Look at that. Look at the steam coming out, guys. Mmm. Yummy. Guys, I'm not making this up. Tastes so sweet and tastes like good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, come on, guys. <laughs> Imagine it tastes so good. She doesn't know which one to say how good it tastes. So, but do you don't want to try the cake? So once again, thank you all for the likes, subscribe, and everybody who have. Beautiful comments on my YouTube channel. Appreciate it, guys. Hit that like button. Subscribe. Share with your friends and family. Drop the nice comment. Drop all those beautiful comments in my inbox. And share. Thank you all so much. Ready? One, two, three. Peace out.